Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Reeti and I am back with another lecture in the DBMS series. So in the last lecture, we learnt about B as well as B plus trees. In this particular video, we would be learning about some basic differences between B and B plus trees. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now B and B plus trees both are used to implement indexes in databases. So B tree and B plus tree both are balanced trees, but there are some differences in the structure of B and B plus trees. So in B tree, all the nodes have the same structure. There is a block pointer which consists the address of the child node. Then there is a key. Then there is a data pointer which points to the location where data is stored in the hard disk or secondary memory. You can say. And again, there are some block pointers. Now coming to B plus tree. So there is some structural differences between the internal and the leaf node. Now in the internal node, there is a block pointer which points to the child address. Then there is a key only which is present. There is no data pointer which is present in the internal node. But when it comes to leaf node, it has a key, it has a data pointer and again it has a block pointer which points to the next element or next node which is present in the leaf. So basically there is a linkless structure which is formed in the leaf and in the leaf node only you can find out the data. So let's understand from an example. Think of a B tree as a directory structure on your computer where folders contain both name and pointers to subfolder or files. So consider that there is a directory which is present in your computer. Now there is a folder. So there would be some name for this particular folder. So this is the key of this particular folder. Now in this particular folder, there would be one more folder or you can say child folder. So we can say that this is the child folder. Now this particular folder is considered to be a node. Now this particular node is containing the key as well as the block pointer or you can say the pointer to the child which is present here. So this contains the node as well as keys and pointers to the subfolders or the child folders. Now coming to B plus tree. So imagine a library catalog where all book records are listed in a sorted linked list manner which is leaf nodes and the internal nodes only contain pointers to guide you to the right part of the catalog. So Consider I want some books in the comedy section. So I'll go to this comedy section. Now in this particular comedy section, I can get some books which are sorted in the linked list manner. So this particular comedy section is helping me to find out where all the books would be present. And here I can find the books which would be present in the linked list manner. So I can say that this is the leaf node and this one is acting as an internal node because it is telling me that where exactly these particular things are present. Now coming to the basic differences. So the first one is data storage. So so keys and associated pointers to the data are stored in all the nodes. So in B tree, keys and associated pointers are stored in all the nodes, internal as well as leaf node. But coming to B plus trees, all the actual data is stored only in the leaf node. So the data pointer is only stored in the leaf node and internal nodes only contains keys and pointers to the child node. So internal node, we have only keys as well as pointers to the child node. So this is the block point that points to the child node. So we can say that in B tree, all the nodes has the data pointers which is present, but in B plus tree, the data pointers are only present in the leaf node. Now coming to the next point that is leaf node linking. So there is no inherent link structure which is present between the leaf node. So there is no linked structure which is present between the leaf nodes in the B trees. But coming to B plus trees, leaf node are linked together in a linked list manner. This linked list structure allows for efficient sequential access, making range queries faster and easier. Since all the data is present in the leaf node, we can start our searching from the leaf node and all the leaf nodes are interconnected with each other which has key and data pointer. So it would be very easy to search for the data which is present in the leaf node. So searching would be very fast. Now coming to the search performance. So access time can be slower for certain type of queries because you may need to traverse multiple level of trees to find the data. So in B tree, what happens? Consider if this is a B tree, which is having some internal and some child nodes. Here consider if I want to search for a data, there might be a possibility that I need to traverse the entire data set which is present in this particular tree. But in B plus tree, what happens that since all the data is stored in the leaf node only, we need to only traverse this particular leaf node or the linked list structure which is formed at that particular leaf node. So leaf nodes are linked together in B plus tree allowing for efficient sequential access and range queries. So it is very helpful for range queries because we need to only traverse the linked list which is present at the end of the tree. 
Now coming to the space utilization. So since data is stored throughout the tree, B trees might have lower space utilization in the nodes. So since data is stored everywhere, there would be very less space utilization because in a node you need to reserve a space for a key pointer, then the data pointer and then the block pointer. The storage of key and data pointers in a given node would be very less. Now coming to B plus tree. So B plus tree typically have better space utilization because internal nodes are only used for keys allowing more keys to be stored per node so here you have to store key data pointer block pointer but in b plus tree what happens you have to only store a key and then there are block pointer so since the data pointer is not stored here the size of the data pointer which is getting occupied here in the node which won't be needed here so here we can store more number of keys because there are no data pointers but here since we have a data pointer associated to a key there is very less space and very less keys which can be stored in a given node so these are some of the basic differences between b and b plus tree oftenly b plus tree is mostly used in some of the cases because the search performance is very good we can use it for the range queries again the way in which the data is stored is also very optimal because you only need to go to the last or the leaf node and search for your particular data rather than traversing the entire tree so this was all about this video i hope you like this video so if you like this video please hit the like button if you're someone who is new to my channel can go ahead and watch out the tech content first and if you find it useful can go ahead and subscribe also if you have not followed me on my social media handles you can go ahead and follow the links are in the description till then take care keep learning keep growing keep smiling bye all